we must, or rather we need to talk about the Mars colony. First you need to see the Mars panic, the increasing panic to get to Mars, to set up a colony. Now we have the one-way ticket, a one-way ticket to Mars, to land there and be one of the pioneer colonists, and then more missions to build a colony rapidly. We need to talk about this. We need to con see the agenda behind this and we need to see the reality. The reason why there is no life on Mars is because there is no magnetic field so it is open to the solar flares, the coronal ejections. Now we're aware of these solar maximums here on Earth, on Earth and the potential to destroy our electronic systems. But surely a Mars colony will be more dependent on electronic systems and more liable to total breakdown. So the, the colonists would be under this threat continuously and reaching a solar maximum say four or five times in the lifetime or of this planned colony. Why this mad panic to get to Mars? One-way tickets. Can you imagine arriving there 140 degrees below no oxygen you know confined and then doomed to spend the rest of your life there? That's what a one-way ticket means. But how long is that for? How long before the next wave of colonists arrive? One year, two years as the Mars panic spreads and more of the Earth's civilization send their colonists. But who is controlling the agenda and what is the true agenda? What is the long-term agenda? First of all, is the cost. What is the carbon footprint on the Earth of building the Mars colony? But this is the issue. This is the issue. You see the people setting this agenda, this inexorable agenda, just as the build up to the invasion of Iraq, the same agenda to set up a colony on Mars because of the inevitable destruction of the Earth. Not the destruction of the planet, but the destruction of life or of civilization on the earth. All it takes is one super volcano like Mount Toba 84,000 years ago from which only 1500 Kalahari Bushmen survived and we are their descendants. So this fear that there be some asteroid collision super volcano that will destroy the earth and their aim is to set up their command and control on Mars and then return and take over the earth. So the agenda on the Mars missions will change. First of all it will be a mad panic, the Mars panic, the mass panic. Who will go to Mars and what will happen to the first colonists? Will they send some females? Will they have children? Will they breed children on Mars? What psychological effect are they inflicting on those children? But as the agenda changes, the, the agenda is not really a Mars colony, but the agenda is to save human life, but to save their control over humanity. Our humanity, our colonists' humanity, 
so after a six month trip to Mars how weak will your mo bones and muscles be to be able to do any work so you're completely dependent when you get your strength how much strength will return in relationship to the gravity of Mars what about the, the pollution of such a cl closed environment as all other closed environments have been polluted here on earth what about the coronal emissions, the solar maximum? Could wipe you out at any time. At any time. So we need to talk about this. We need to talk about the Mars colony. Its cost, our humanity, the control with understanding about the Mars panic without causing mass panic but we need to consult the issues